Hey everybody, this is Sheets and welcome back to the NHL for the Stanley Cup playoffs. We had a little bit of a break there while the season wound down and they were all gearing up for the playoffs. And hopefully we get a couple of a uh, bunch of four game slates, uh, one by one by one until these uh, series start to get eliminated. So we're getting the, uh, the, the best teams, we're getting everybody playing all their guys and uh, really looking forward to it. We're going to continue to go through the same process as normal. We're going to try to build a single entry lineup here uh, using our sheets. And then also we are going to do a portfolio of lineups using SaberSim. And again, this is early on in the day. So this is certainly not final and almost certainly not going to be what I actually play. But again, it's a, it's, I'm trying to do a decent combination of, of sharing picks, but also sharing process and hopefully teaching you guys something about how to build lineups. Maybe not just today, but in the future. There are other slates in the playoffs or maybe next season. Now I am using the sheets that are only available for uh, except today, I guess, um, for premium subscribers on TrueDFS. And we're going to be going back and forth between these sheets and the, the lineup builder. Um, so again, we're ranking these, these players by, uh, well, by fantasy points, points per dollar, ownership, whatever. But we're going to rate them by sheets value score, which is my kind of, um, which is my kind of, uh, uh, which is my way of kind of normalizing all these other factors. And it's been very, very successful. So this is what we're using. I'm not going to get into all the formulas behind it, but that's the way it is. Um, so again, what we're trying to do with NHL, um, especially with single entry, Using these sheets, what we're truly just doing is really simplified, okay, is you step back and we say, okay, who, which team, ha which teams have guys near the top of this list, okay, and we want to put them all together, right, because that's the way hockey works, you want to stack them, you want to play three, four, maybe five men from the same power play line, for example, and the more clusters you have up at the top, it's more important than having just the overall best play. Like if there were the top two or three plays and they were all just kind of individuals, but then you had four, six, seven, all from the same team, then that's very, you know, that's very solid. That's what you want to look for as far as NHL stands. So we stare at this and we, we step back. And the first thing I notice is that aside from the goalies, top two guys on the slate are, are from Boston. Uh, Pasternak and DeBrusque, and then Martian. And then we go down further on the list, and you have Lindholm as well. Now, the Boston guys are going to carry some extra weight as far as I'm concerned for the playoffs, or at least for the first couple of games, because for those of you who have been following me for the last you know couple of months, we've been very actively fading the Bruins, uh, especially in the last two months because they have had this number one seed locked up for so long, it seems that the thesis, at least that I was going by, was that they were not going to overuse their guys you know, and, and not play them max minutes. And we were very successful with that. And now you get a fully rested team ready to, ready to stomp on people. So you can play these, these Bruins guys with, with confidence where in the last month or two, you had to worry about whether they'd be able to put their foot on the on the pedal, so to speak. Um, so that's what you try to do is you try to get these Boston guys in. But if you're not going to be able to do that, you have to look and see what else kind of stands out. Um, you could always play Edmonton. You know, you have uh, McDavid and Bouchard and Hyman. Okay. What's good about this is that, well, a couple of these. Number one, Bouchard at 4,300 always seems to cap, you know keep the stack together because he's always so cheap. Um, and also McDavid at 10k is, is a price that's going to scare people as I guess as well it should um, but if you get Edmonton low owned um, uh, you're going to want it but it doesn't look like they're going to be particularly low owned so we'll, we'll, we'll think about that next guys I'm looking at here are Carolina so you have Seth Jarvis at 4k which is very very appealing uh, Burns Neeson or Nosen, however you pronounce him. He's on the first power play line along with Jarvis, and he's cheap. So this is really big. Um, you have Aho, you know, he's cheap enough. 
Then you have Neckus, who's also on the first power play line. So this is this is going to be the affordable way to go. Okay, this is the uh, this is this is going to be the affordable way to go. Um, so if you could listen, if you can get both Boston and Carolina, that's probably what you might end up having to do. Like maybe play four guys from Boston and maybe three from Carolina. And if you could do that, that's great. Um, or if you can get a full five man in of Carolina, that, that works too. Now, the thing is, is that if you play Carolina, though, it violates our first rule. That is trying to play the most, the, the cheapest goal way that projects well. And you really want to play Sorokin at 7,400. Um, so if you do play your Carolinas, then you're going to have to play Ettinger. So let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's not put the goalie in yet. Let's see what happens if we first – I know we could build Carolinas. Let's see what we could do with Boston. The problem with Boston is that they're all wings, okay? Um, and, and you'd like to get a center out of this, but there's no Boston guys that are really playable wings as far as this goes. So you start with these four guys, and it becomes very difficult. Um because, like, if you played, say, well, you really couldn't play Sorokin as a cheap goalie because you probably almost have to play Carolinas here. So now we would have to play, not that it's bad, but you play Ettinger. Now, if you played Ettinger in goal, then what you'd end up doing, you wouldn't have any wings to play. And as we noticed, we'll go back to Carolina for a second. I mean, you could do this, but you you play, you play Ajo. And then you just kind of, or you put him in center, sorry. You play Ajo at center, and then who's the cheap? Then you really can't afford all this stuff. You know, you could play, and even Bruns is expensive. So it becomes very difficult to play Boston, if you want to know the truth. Um, the only way you could do it is if then you just played a bunch of one-offs, because you can't really play a fifth Boston, because there's no center, really, to play. Um the only thing I could think of if you want to do this is you go back and just take a look and see who's cheap in here, you know. Once again, Jarvis is a – yeah, but he's a win. You know, as far as positional problems, you have Hints, but he's 6,500. Ajo we're already using. I mean, can you play both, say, Ajo – and hints and, and even fill in a lineup? No, I mean, you can't even do it, you know? So it becomes very difficult to play Boston just really because of the positional stuff. Um, let me see what else we can do. And I, I know that when we build these with Sabersim, it's going to find a way to do it. But what are you going to do when you have, like, just no good centers? You know? Barzal, 5,100, but even still. So it looks as though as much as I want to play Boston, it's, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. On the other hand, if you do want to play, well, let's just see about Edmonton. So the good thing about Edmonton is that at least you get McDavid at center. And then you play Hyman, like I said, and then you play uh, Bouchard. This you probably be able to get away with because then what you can end up doing is play these Carolina cheapos at wings. Play Neckis. You can play Jarvis. Almost. Play Ajo? No, not quite. Then you really have to double punt here. Boy, oh boy, they don't make this easy, do they? Um, so it looks as though, at least from a single entry perspective, you're just kind of going to have to play this. Ajo, Neckis, Jarvis. Nesson. And then if you want that now, if you start with this. Now then you can play, I won't say whatever you want, but now you could now you could do stuff. Like for example, like can you play? Can you play Bouchard and now you could probably play Bouchard and McDavid if you wanted to do this. Yeah, now now you could do that. Because then what you could do, you could play a second. Edmonton for openers, defensemen, like Darnell Nurse. 
So that's something. So it's kind of weird. You can almost play Edmonton easier than you could play. And then, and then a one-off here, almost easier than you could play um, Boston. Um, well, the other thing you could do is do a full five man here and play Burns. And then now, now you just play a couple of one-offs and you're, you're kind of off to the races. Now you can go back and play, say, Hints, for example. Get a little bit of correla correlation with, um, with Ettinger. You could play the other Dallas guys. You could play a 5-2 here and then a one-off at 5,800. So Carolina really makes all this work. Now, they, they're probably going to end up really chalky, chalky because of it. So it's weird. Like, if you want to play Carolina, you don't get to play Sorokin. If you play Sorokin, then you could fade Carolina. Um, but in in both cases, the positional issues with center makes Boston difficult. Um the only other team that I think I wanted to look at was maybe L.A. Let me just see. I mean, L.A.'s got three guys here. Uh, again, it's the three wings. So if you didn't want to play Carolina, you want to play Tempe, uh, Iafalo, and Arvidsson. So let's just get rid of this. Let's get rid of the Carolinas for a second. Kempe, Arvidsson, and Iafalo. Then that could get you off the of Carolina, which would allow you then to get to um, Sorokin, if you feel that's the, a priority. Right? And then you could even throw in a center from L.A., um, let's just see who that would be. Uh, Hints is really showing up as like the best center here. Kopitar. All right, so Kopitar. So you could you could do this. I mean, this is this is something you could do pretty easily, actually. You could do a full four man from LA and find the right uh, other guy and make it a five man, and you could play this really easily. Like here, you could play. You might even be able to play a Boston guy, you know, because of they're all wings. Um, but what you could do is play like hints and something like this. And then if you wanted to, you could do correlation and play Ettinger. Play a one-off with um, Bouchard. And then a one-off 3,400. So that's L.A. You know, so it definitely looks as though I want to build with either, even though Boston or Edmonton are the best plays, feel as though I want to play something like LA or that or um, or Carolina just for funsies. Is there a really good 3,400? Yeah, I bet you one of those Carolinas is 3,400, for example, like a one off of Neeson or something like that. But that's fun. You can do that. Anyway, um, we're going to save this for now. Oh, as a matter of fact, I don't want to do that because I already saved it. All right. So anyway, let's um let's go to um to Saberson, and let's have Saberson build minus for us, and then I I'll be, I'll, I'm all, I'm going to be very curious to see what we get. I know they're going to just find a way for me to um, wait, there's one thing I have to check out. I want to make sure that Aho got projected because sometimes because they're two Sebastian Ahos doesn't upload right. No, it's fine. All right, so let's um, let's build these. Let's build fifty lineups. We'll use one fifty max, and let's just see what we get. I know they're going to find a way to get me all the Boston I want.
Yeah, they just they just jammed them in. They put Crecci in. Oh, so you're telling me you get Crecci as power play one at center? I guess that's what makes it work. I don't know why I didn't have Crecci even listed. Where where maybe my sheets were just bad. Let me just see. Yeah, I have Crecci on the number two power play line. So that's that's uh, that's gonna require some investigation. That's gonna require some investigation. Because if he isn't back on the number one power play line, then you can probably play all these guys. Um let me see what we would get. Team stacks. Nah, it's, these are the guys you mentioned, Boston, Carolina. Not much LA though. So maybe LA would be the would be the contrarian play in all this. Um, so now as I uh, stop the recording, I'm going to have to do some investigation. Not only is why I'm seeing Crecci listed as number one power play line, but number two, why I don't have that. Um, we'll, we'll, uh, that'll be for, for my uh, off the uh, off camera work. Okay. So uh, I'll be back at like six o'clock tonight when we do the other sports where we're going to maybe do this live again, but hopefully that helps. And uh, good luck, everybody.